My name is John. That is me standing in the suit and handcuffs. Brittany is under the blanket. They say she didn't make it. I am glad Father Jennings is here to bless her. She was my girlfriend. I just turned 18 last month. I played football and lacrosse for the high school. I got good grades and was always told that I was a good student. I did well on my SATs and got into Virginia Tech with a partial academic scholarship. I'm supposed to report to college in August for club lacrosse practice and freshman orientation. Brittany's parents are not here yet. She was so smart and played field hockey. She was going to Maryland this fall. She wanted to go to med school. Her birthday is in four days. We were at Jason's graduation party. His parents are always pretty cool. They had a great prom party too. The whole team got wasted that night. His mom told us not to ever leave their house if we were drinking, but Brittany had to go home today because her grandparents were coming over for her graduation. I was going to drop Brittany off at her house and then go back to Jason's. I heard the cops were on the way to Jason's house. I think his parents are going to be in big trouble. They had a keg for us. I had gotten a bottle of my dad's Captain Morgan for the party. We had some other stuff there too. I am so sorry. I know that I'm not going to get my scholarship now or go to college. I will probably go to jail. I killed Brittany. I'm so sorry. My parents are on their way. They're going to be so upset and ashamed. That is their car. I wonder what will happen to them. I wonder what will happen to Jason's parents. My mom and dad are friends with them. They knew that we partied at his house. Brittany's parents had no clue. They did not know that Brittany drank. I don't know if I can ever face them. Brittany was their only child. I wish we hadn't gone to that graduation party. I wish I hadn't drank. I wish I could turn back time just this once. I never thought this would happen to me. Please, God, help me. These photographs and story will be shocking to some. However, it is an all too often reality throughout our county, state, and country. Teen drivers take chances, add alcohol or drugs to the problem, and it becomes deadly. Parents must help law enforcement fight this problem. Together, we can prevent injuries and death. Never allow underage consumption of alcohol at your residence. You can and will be held criminally responsible and civilly liable if you do. Parents who suspect other teens' parents of allowing underage drinking or supplying teens with alcohol should prohibit their children from going to those homes and should report their suspicions to police. Question your teens as to what their plans are when they go out and follow up with a call to their friend's parents to assure their plans do not involve alcohol. Always be skeptical of sleepovers and check to assure that the sleepover plans are as they were presented. Be a parent and a guardian first and a friend to your child later. Be the wall between alcohol and your child. Prom, graduation, and senior week are approaching. Parents don't allow your children the opportunity to access alcoholic beverages. Teenagers, leave alcohol and drugs out of your life. And don't risk your bright and prosperous future. Support the Tri-County Prevention Project. When it comes to teens and alcohol, be clear, be firm, be consistent, be the wall.